Hi, my name is Eden, and I'm currently taking a class on Eric Fromm. Um, it's sort of like an intro to psychology course of the study of a man who um, wrote a lot of books about um, really just life. Um, you know, he has his most famous book is probably The Art of Loving and To Have or To Be, um, which are pretty well known, especially in like um, the kind of psychoanalyzing world, I guess. Um, so. Basically, I talked originally in a video about um, feminism and having or being, um, but we've been watching, we watched this video by David Foster Wallace. It's not a video by David Foster Wallace. It actually is an excerpt of um, the speech that he did at Kenyon in, I think, 2005, and it's personally one of my favorite um, speeches that I've ever read of a commencement speech because um, I've, I read it about a year ago when my, one of my mentors gave it to me to read because it's about... Um, kind of like living and the importance of a liberal arts education, which I think is kind of not as much shown in a way that's appealing to a lot of people, but after you read this, it's kind of like, oh, a liberal arts education does make sense. Um, so, yeah, so, I mean, well, and it's practical. But anyways, so this video, This Is Water, is just the first nine minutes where he kind of talks about how, um, well, he tells a story, which I can just kind of um, say. So he says that there's um, two fish, two younger fish swimming in the ocean, and then an older fish comes past them, and he goes, hi, boys, how's the water? And they keep on swimming, and then a couple hours later, one of the younger fish looks at the other fish and goes, what the hell is water? And the point is, is that, um, and what he says in the nine minutes, is that a lot of times people go on autopilot and they don't even realize what they're living. And so the reason we watch it is because it has a, such a connection to the having or being mode that we constantly are talking about in this class. So um, if you're living in that autopilot, you're sort of living in the having mode. Um, you're not fully there. You're just kind of going through life day by day, you know. Um, they, in the film, I mean the short film, they put like people in a grocery store going through like lines, and which is what David Foster Law says, you know, people just so upset with their days, and you're not understanding what other people are going through, it's all just about you, and you're just doing it like a, um, kind of just a pattern over and over again, um, and I think it's interesting because it's, it's like, I think, okay, so you can go, like, the what I thought about it, it, it was like you can go to a grocery store and you can have this experience where you're upset every single day you have to go and get bread you have to get you know everything you get every week let's say and you can treat it as that or you can treat it as kind of a being experience where um, you know you're involved in what you're doing and you realize that your person that's checking you out hasn't slept in two days and you can realize that the people around you are just as stressed as you are and it's sort of like it's it's a different way of thinking that I don't think a lot of people think um, which also kind of relates to something else I want to talk about. It's sort of like my relationship with Eric Fromm. So I think that it's it's been kind of hard for me to read his books because he has these like such amazing ideas that um, have really faded away, and I don't think people see them as much. So in my feminism video, um, which I posted earlier, I kind of disagreed with him, but at the same time, like, I think it's so important that people live in the being mode, while I think that it's kind of faded away in society as it's more about um, how the survival of the fittest, um, which kind of relates to Frome's biggest question is like, as Mr. Squires would say, um, how could a Christian country come into a Nazi state, which is kind of like what Eric Frome, I think in general, is trying to, um, I think it's almost... He's not trying to explain, he's trying to express his confusion about it and saying, like, with humanity, how does this happen? Um, but Eric Fromm, um, going back to the video, so Eric Fromm kind of, the way that he relates to the video is that I think that it's sort of like he's saying that if you live in the being mode, you can understand what water is. So if, you, if you're actually there when, it, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times we talk about having to be mode in love, which is... Um, probably the most interesting to most people in my class, and, I mean, anyone, um, I think that that's sort of the same thing, like, you can be in a relationship, and you can be in a marriage, um, and you can be, even in a relationship with anything, with a teacher, with a friend, um, and not realize what it is, and not see the capital T truth, um, and then 
you're not living in the being mode. And if you don't do that, but you can live in the being mode and then understand what the water is and understand, you know, the consistency of the water and like, you know, to go along with that metaphor. But um, I just think it's really interesting to kind of put the ideas of Eric Fromm and David Foster Wallace together. Um, and I also think, I don't know, the first thing that kind of came to me is like, what would Eric Fromm think of a traditional um, liberal arts education these days, which um, is what he's arguing, is the purpose of a liberal arts education is so you can actually know how to think. Um, so I think it'd be really cool to like, you know, if Eric Fromm could be like transported to this time to like have him go to a place like Williams or go to a place like Kenyon and see how the liberal arts ed education is impacting people and to see if Eric Fromm's sort of like guidance, I think kind of like message to people um, is actually implanted in um, those kind of communities. So yeah, thanks. <laughs>